everybody, my name is Miss Nicole and I'm a children's librarian with the Grundy Library. Welcome to today's craft time. Today we have a really fun craft all about building your own town or city. So let's go and head over to find out what supplies you need and how we're going to do this craft. All right, for today's activity, you're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need some stick glue. You're going to need some tape. You are going to need a bunch of different pieces of construction paper, but I do recommend having some black in there for your roads if you're going to make any streets or roads in your town. And then a base of um, this cardboard here, or maybe the top lid of a shoebox, something just a little bit sturdier. So we are going to decorate our base first, which means we are going to use, I'm choosing to use some green construction paper to decorate the base so it kind of shows some greenery like grass in our town. So I'm using some tape um, after I've cut the construction paper to size to uh, attach it to our base here. And once our construction paper color of choice has been attached to our base to decorate, we are then gonna start working on outlining our town. So how I did this is I utilized the black construction paper to create some roads. So I took my construction piece of paper and I cut strips, um, skinnier strips, and then I used those strips to lay out the roads in my town. So here you can see I'm cutting down my strips and then I'm gonna use my stick glue to glue them to our base. And it's just gonna be glued down to how I kind of envision my town structure to be. So I'm going to have like one road with some side streets and then that I will be able to place my buildings within that grid that I created. So once I have laid down my base of streets and my grid of streets, I'm gonna start creating my buildings. So I decided to take a few pieces of construction paper in different colors, and then I decided to cut them down to different sizes so that my buildings were of different heights. So ideally this is more suited to building potentially like a cityscape versus maybe a neighborhood, but it's definitely doable to do a both depending on how you want to make your houses and buildings. So for me, I rolled up the piece of construction paper and then I used the tape to make it into that kind of cylinder shape. Then I took the black construction paper again and cut some squares to be my windows and a larger piece to be my door for this first building. So again, I used my stick glue to attach these windows going all the way down and the door at the end. And like I had said, this is more suited, I think in my style of choice to be a cityscape. So these are gonna be different size, kind of off like city buildings, office buildings, apartment buildings. So they're gonna be taller with lots of windows and a nice big door at the bottom. You of course, like I said, can decorate your buildings however you wish and make them whatever size or shape that you'd like. So once I did that, I decided to then attach my building to my base. I used tape. You of course don't have to permanently attach it to your city. You can also just have them stand freestanding if you want to move them around. Um, but I used tape to tape them down onto where I would like them to be in my city. And then once that was done, I decided to just repeat that process with a bunch of different pieces of construction paper and different colors to really build out my city. And here it is. Um, another tip you can do is if you don't wanna use the black construction paper, you can use a black marker to draw in your windows. But this is my final city. I hope you like Thank it. Thank you so much everybody for hanging out with me today. I hope you had a lot of fun building your town or your city and using all those different supplies to make it come alive. For more craft time videos or other library programs and services, please visit our website at www.grundylibrary.org or check out our social media pages. Thank you so much and I can't wait to see you for our next craft time. Goodbye.